yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Get Back. It's the Get Back. We are back, and uh, yeah, we're Trying back. To figure things <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> we're good. We're good. Uh, so I'm your host, Dan Adana. To my what's your name? Dan Adana. Because all I heard is Adana. Dan Adana. Daniel Adana. Dan Adana. It's, it's a fast name. We don't need to tell We gotta move. All right. We only got an hour here. All right. <laughs> to my left, to my left, the camera's right. It's Jessica Lowry. <laughs> Lovely Jessica. Lowry. Hola, cómo estás? I, 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 <laughs> yeah, I literally forgot my left and my right. My, my left and my right just now. Uh, and then behind the camera is the OG Louis Fletcher, the, the, creator. the creator, the creator, the the greatest fantasy player of all oh, time. Oh God, he's gonna start in the whole entire world. Yes, he is gonna start. You want to no. start there? You want to come back to that? Nah, we're starting hot, baby. Okay. Uh, you want, yeah, sure, how, sure. Because I, because I, I don't want to start. Someone like, had some humble pie this Sunday. I, but like, I can't. Even, I'm not even it's, mad. No, no, I, I can't real, even be like, mad. All right, all right. <laughs> I dropped 230 points and lost to 250 points. Based. Okay, so Lewis beat me in fantasy. Based. I'm five and two, so I'm still okay. Yeah, he's fine. I'm fine. I'm four and three. I'm three and four. I'm first in my. I'm still first in my division, so I'm chilling. I'm not last anymore. Quadri is. There you go. There you go. See positive. And I finally won a game. I was go- going through a losing streak, but yo, Kamara, fifty three points, crazy. There you go. Come in. Yeah. Good job. Adams. Yeah. That- <laughs> I may have to finally Goodbye. accept the benching. I don't know. You're, don't even dare. Don't even dare. Don't even think about <laughs> Don't even dare. I don't know, man. He started off the game really well, uh, and then Daniel, that was it. Know, Daniel, we know what's going to happen, Daniel. No, I'm, of course I'm going to leave him, Daniel. but I had to, like, consider it. We I know exactly to what's going to happen. She's not going to bench him. She's going to reconsider two days later and be like, no, I love him. He's great. He's one of my boys. You know what I'm saying? I took him in the trap for a reason. Yeah, no. What's going to happen is she's going to go all week. <laughs> complaining about oh Devontae Adams is so bad. They don't I give him not... the ball enough. Then start and then start him and then he's gonna drop thirty points and then next week she's gonna be like Devontae Adams is a great receiver of all time. <laughs> he's he's one of the best. Because he is. He is. It's just that you know Vegas is trash and it's hard for a great player to work with trash. So it's been challenging for him. Yo, Vegas is trash. They're big trash. I <laughs> I know he's gotta be kicking himself. Huh? Oh, well, right. you're the, look, when I came in, it was chest, there. Chin. When I came in, chest, it was in that position. Yo, yo, teaching her how to hold a mic is crazy. Chest to chin, bro. Chest to chin ratio. Oh, please. That's what, that's what I do it. The, the ratio? Pack, yeah, right in between this This. Listen, when I sat down, ratio. that's where yeah. the ca- that's where the mic was. Come okay? on, come on. Let's be, ca- let's be Christian. Let's oh, be Christian. stop. <laughs> yeah, Christian. Let's have a couple Hail Marys. You know what I'm saying? You're a little blasphemous self. But, um, yeah, Daniel, what a game. What a game. I mean, what, that was they, These game two game. had a really good close game. Dude, it literally came down to a 1v1. Yeah. Which, which is the craziest thing. Because, because, you know what? Okay. At the 1 o'clock window, I was down like 80 points, 90 <laughs> points. And the, I, the only, because Lamar Jackson decided to have a great game all of a sudden yeah. and dropped 40 points. Thank you. Thank right. you, Lamar. I love so you. So I'm going in like, all right, Mahomes going to give me 25. Kelsey. I got may, it right here. K- K- Kelsey may, maybe gives me 20. Travis Kelsey Travis drops Kelsey a 30 drops burger. A 50, a 50 bur- burger. A 50 burger for the Swifties. For the Swifties, Oh, bro. God. <laughs> Yo, Daniel. Guys, he was doing well before the Swifties came, so, so this is so not because of Taylor, Daniel, but he is showing yeah. off. We Daniel texted that. me. He goes, dude. Do I have to if think? I win, am I going to have to thank the Swifties for this? <laughs> I thank God I don't have to. So. <laughs> no, because it's not due to them anyway. Yeah, but no. I saw him Sunday night, and he was he was so sure that he was going to lose. Dog. He was like, if I lose, I can't go to the station on Tuesday. Daniel's never going to shut up. <laughs> dog, dog. I was like, yo, he was, he was kind of depressed. In, I was like, Lewis, you never know. You got some good players. And that A.J. Brown, Jalen Waddle, his back just, he, yo, he his, really his put back, his, my team on his back. Yeah, bro. really. He I mean, carried. His back finally gave out. His back finally oh, gave oh, out. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Yes, Queen. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, I'm, all I'm saying. Is that if Jalen Waddle win, uh, <laughs> doesn't? Here comes the cope. Here comes the cope. This right? is gonna be this is gonna be my only cope of of, of probably the entire season. Base. If he doesn't get hurt, I probably have a better chance at winning. Yes. Okay. You do. All right. Because he probably drops thirty. Yeah. And I probably. Because Brandon Ayuk didn't do anything either. I mean, in the first <sighs> qu- first half, it was looking real good. I was like, I was. Yeah. If, if CMC yeah. didn't get that touchdown in the first half. It would have been really nerve-wracking. Yeah. But then he caught that pass for 30 I mean, I, I, I like, 
I kept like going back to fantasy, and I'm like, they're not giving him the ball. They're not giving McCaffrey the ball. I'm going to win this week. Yeah. And then he took a touchdown. I'm like, oh, I Most lost. of his team outplayed yours. I'm looking oh, at these. They, wow, Justin, you're really going to bring it up like that. Well, well sorry. I'm just looking at. talk about it like that. I, I still dropped 230. So you, dropped did, you did. I, I dropped 230. You guys are the biggest. Yeah. Uh, which is, yo, which even is with a trash forever. team, I still dropped 230. You know what's funny? It's like, even if you lose like a game like this in fantasy, you know that if you play anybody else, you're dogging them out. Yeah. Dog walking them. Taking them to the park. Arf, arf. Okay, Justin, this was that's what's gonna happen to you. You about to get dog walked this from week. who? Me. You play him this oh week. You God. play me. You're no. gonna get no. CMC's you're gonna get dog walked. CMC's jerk. about a dog walk. You, oh bro. please, he's gonna get hurt. Damien's so lucky. <laughs> CMC has the buy. I play Damien. He's so lucky. Oh, D- Damien needs a win. He's, Damien, he's you know getting what? desperate. Damien needs a Damien win. Damien is not paying attention. Based. He swears that he's he had a lineup issues on the app, but when you look at the bench, you didn't do anything for your bench to like negate Montgomery being out. So we that's how we can tell Damien that you just really weren't paying attention this week. And also Drake. But London. But thank you. you know, he has Drake London. He has Drake and that, London. And that's a prime. Thing. And and like you know he he in. needed to draft Eagles players. He needed. He to. needed to. He needed to. He needed to. I that, that this is why like I never tell people don't draft from your team in fantasy, because you're going to be committed to that player. I kind of wanna. I kind of wanna. See, see what I could do for Devonte Smith, just just for fun. What, You're what, crazy. What do you dude. think I could get? Nothing. <laughs> Can't you Nothing. change the lineup? I don't want to play Lewis. He's no, terrible. I'm terrible. You're begging for a win. You're begging. Th- don't start begging for a don't win. Don't start begging <laughs> for wins. Because then again, I'm not begging for a win. I'm begging for him not to friggin' Next thing you know, she loiter all in my face. <laughs> what? Next thing you know, he switches it to Sam. You get dogged walked by oh, Sam. God, Cooper God. Cup goes for Sam. Sam is not playing either. I don't know what happened to him, but you could tell he did not play. Hey, but Jess, game. listen, Jameer Gibbs is great. Yeah, he is great. He's so great. He's so great. Right, Daniel? I, I told you. Almost 50 points. I, I, told, I told her definitely not to trade him, but you keep getting in her ear. Absolutely. And she keeps coming back to me. Should I trade Jameer Gibbs? <laughs> What do you? Th- I don't he know. He keeps I- putting pressure on me. If I show you the amount of text messages, <laughs> Jess, look at the trade. <laughs> Jess, yo, seven o'clock in the morning. Jess, I just posted a new trade. Based. This man wakes up this? with what trade. Do you want? Tell up, me what bro. you want. Tell me who you want. And I'll give it to you. <laughs> when I tell him who I want, it's a no. Cause she acts okay. You're asking for Lamar and AJ Brown. You know that's not happening. Listen, but you told me you to know, ask. You're only know. giving up your bench. You're not giving up anyone of value. You just wanna no. No, I hate your stupid dance. Stop dancing. <laughs> this is the winner's dance. I'm not right talking here. to you after today. <laughs> <laughs> Except right. for Thursday when we have the show. <laughs> Speaking of winners, you want to know who else won this week? Got a nice big win. Honestly, the game of, of the week, to game, be honest. Game might have been of the season. The Giants won a football game. Yay. Yay. Woohoo. 14 to 7, baby. 14 to 7. Wow. Two fumbles, two <laughs> missed field goals. Two possible interceptions. Th- this was the most terrible and the greatest game I've ever seen from the Giants. I, 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 like the Giants. Like you kept saying how bad the offense is, mm-hmm. but the fact that you had chance after chance after chance, and the fact that you sacked Sam Howell almost ten thousand times and still almost lost the game. We're I, bad. Yeah, we're bad. Bro, we're I mean, really, really bad. <laughs> I mean, this is this is the first time like I've sat down and watched an entire giant game start to finish. Uh, and it was painful. And it was painful. Cause I, I was like, you look like the Jets. You look like the Jets from two years ago. But Tyrod actually he didn't play bad. Didn't, no, he, he didn't turn the bad. ball over. No, he looked great. Barkley fumbled. <laughs> Stupid idiot. No, I, I. But I think going into next week now, okay. because now you play the Jets. Based. That's right. gonna that's gonna be either the greatest game of all time or the worst game. I, no, no. I hope it's the greatest game. I hope of it's all a time. three. I hope we don't <laughs> embarrass ourselves. I hope New York City gets it together and we put on a show. It's, and it's not gonna a be two stock. zero. Well, well, the it, Jets will get a safe. Two. <laughs> 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 well, it, it, it it's not gonna be the five and one we predicted with Aaron Rodgers and Daniel Jones. It's gonna be Tyrod Taylor and Zach Wilson <laughs> in a two and five and three and three team. Honestly, but but no, what what, what makes it good is that both teams need this game. They yeah, do. so they're right? gonna be playing with their hearts. Hopefully. Right. I, honestly, I think that's all we could ask for in this game is that Zach Wilson <laughs> sigh before it because bef- bef- like because we know because we know we know what can happen because right now like I I said this last week with Colorado we know that there's pain waiting. It, it's not pain. It's that. It, we said with Colorado last week, 
the Jets have expectations now, right? Like you've beaten the Eagles, you should have beaten the Chiefs, and you're you're going on a win streak right now, and you're coming into the latter part of your schedule, which is much much lighter than your first six games, and you're facing teams that are not going to be in the playoffs. You have to win these games. Mm -hmm. These are not must wins. These are have to wins because now your expectation is that we can run the table here in this division. And honestly, some should wins. Yeah, you should. I mean, we're better than half of the teams we're playing. You you cannot argue that. On paper, talent wise, we're better than the Giants. Yes. On the field, I don't know what the hell is gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, I, I hope Barkley just runs all over that defense. No, just runs. I mean, all hopefully over. the bye did them some good. Yeah, you know, we. You know. I'm sure Rogers will be on the sideline cheering the team on, giving them some extra motivation. No, I think plus um, two percent to morale. Plus two percent. You know, Garrett Wilson goes off for extra five yards. There you go. I think um they needed the win streak. They needed the bye. And I think you know what? Maybe our season isn't going to turn into a dumpster fire. It better not. You know, there's no re now. Oh now my that god! We, Why did you put that into point, the universe? I wasn't even thinking about that. Uh, because come on, let's be realistic. It was very much looking like that after our boy got hurt, and He's then a after. Jet fan. You can't be realistic and be a Jet fan. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? You need to be delusional a bit. Tiny bit. Yeah, we, we, we're a little bit crazy. Yeah. You got to be a little to, bit. To roof well, of the Jets, we're a little bit crazy. Yeah. yeah I mean, you got to have some Sometimes crazy is okay. Crazy is needed. Well, I'm, I'm very crazy because I, you know, the Jets, the Mets, yes. the Rangers, yep. the Knicks. I'm, I'm an insane person. Yep. I, we, I am we, not okay. We need to get there. you like a bottle I'm of antidepressants. Okay. I, antidepressants ain't going to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I need wins. That's, that, that's my cure, bro. Yeah. And I think, you well, could, I think you could probably get it against the Giants. I think you guys will win. I think. Thank you for admitting that. Yeah, I, I think it's because if we lose, he's going to be unbearable, and I can't. Oh yeah, oh, I can't take the losing oh and then God. the fantasy. Especially I can't. I won't come in next out. week. If I you won't get come dog in. Dog walk by Tyrod Taylor and Darren. But, but the funny thing is, is that it's entirely possible that that happens. Yes, hundred <laughs> percent. Like it's entirely possible that we just get absolutely destroyed by the giant defense. That's yep. terrible. Zach Wilson Why is that like terrible? Three picks, Saquon Why is that good? Because this is the Jets. It's nothing <laughs> is good. We get nothing handed to us. Nothing is good. Every well, week's a struggle. Well, that's why we have to take it. No, I'm going for the Jets. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. We're going to beat the Giants' ass this Sunday. Woo! I, I really I Look really, at that. And I if really we don't so. cut this out, don't show it. <laughs> don't show Dog, it. I'm going to make a short when if the Giants win, and it's going to be like that. Just that. What you just said, boom, that. It's going to be funny. <laughs> <laughs> Three days later, just like the, <laughs> just Zach Wilson interception. Oh, gets forced fumbles. God, I mean, I mean, like it has to come down it to has. Zach Wilson playing good. Yeah, because and that's the part that's nerve wracking because he's so incons. Well, he's more consistent being bad, but now that we've seen glimmers of hope, it's like, is he gonna bring? Is this the, the game that's gonna like? Bring it out of him again. The Chiefs game, he had to. His, mm -hmm. his like, whole career was on the line. Wink and he's been Martindale. riding that wave. But, like, here's the thing, too. It's like, the thing with Zach is that he's been constantly inconsistent. So we don't know whether this is for real or whether he goes back in the crapper against the Giants. Right? Because this is what he does. So what if he plays really well, but we still lose? I, I, I still don't want him here. No. I would still complain. Jess. <laughs> the Jets don't need a losing quarterback who plays well. They need a, a winning, winning quarterback, quarterback who plays well. Yeah, but okay. I mean... If we're serious about this season and we're serious about making a run to somewhere, anywhere, I don't care where, we're running. We're running the table. So then if he, he loses this weekend, what do you do? You bench him? Uh, you, you can't. <laughs> I mean, you can't because the trade deadline is next week. You're not trading Zach. You're not trading for Kirk Cousins anymore. Because Minnesota's winning all of a sudden. Now they want to be a good team. <laughs> like Minnesota, where did that come from? Oh, I remember, remember I picked them to win the uh, NFC. Uh, I NFC think, North. Uh, <laughs> you know, some teams, when they see that their season's going down, sometimes they play like there's nothing left to lose, and that's how they end up winning. And Minnesota, they were they have not been – they've been trash. So now I think that maybe, you know, they got tired of all the trash and decided to, you know, pull Pick one. Try to started picking up the trash bags. You know, the side of the yeah, like, decided, you know, oh, clean some up. He was like, oh, prime time. <laughs> I'm gonna be good in prime time now. Based. I'm never good in prime time. Based. No, but like it, 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 it's really, really weird. 
how like a lot of these teams going to trade deadline just started performing well, right? And I think the Jets started performing well, and the Giants were going to trade Barkley. Now they're not going to trade Barkley because they won the game, and now and he's th- our and, only hope, right? And like like your season <laughs> has turned around because of that win. Yes, because now you're staring down a path where you could probably rattle a couple of wins, not against the Jets, but after the Jets. Mm. Yeah, right, but. I don't know. Like going into the deadline, we're gonna be live for the deadline, the Halloween show. Get ready for yes. that. Yes. Jessica's Go. gonna be on. She's gonna be listening to Pat McAfee in one ear. <laughs> she's gonna be scroll- <laughs> constantly refreshing ESPN, giving us a little updates. Like, oh my god. So we're about? guys. We're gonna be in costume too. Yes. We are. I don't know what I'm gonna be yet. Well, you Lewis have wants a, me to be Buzz Lightyear. You have a, Buzz Lightyear. Yeah. Because he man, really wants me to be was, Buzz yo, Lightyear. Our teams, yo, we know what we're going as. Yes. Our I don't know what I'm going as. Over, yet. Mia doesn't know yet. Mia, you have to just go as oh, the devil. Mia right. knows. We told you last week. Yeah, you're gonna be oh, you know what? I can actually re- oh. I can actually repeat my costume. What do you? What? Oh, Mia, do you think I'm Spider Man? Mm-hmm. No. What's your name? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, no, I think I'm going to do a costume that I did a few years ago, but I'm going to do the Jets rendition. I think I'm going to be a dead cheerleader. Ooh. I was a dead XO cheerleader. Love you, weekend. Um, so maybe this time I'll be a dead Jets cheerleader. Yo, our no costumes are all over the place. Yeah. We do not have a scene. I'm going. Napoleon Dynamite. Oh, man, so now I got to find a plaid skirt. A yeah. oh, skirt. I, I gotta find Spider-Man. a green oh, jet you ha- you sweater. Ha- you have so much work to do. I Hold do on. because I'm actually making my costume. Mia, I can't go buy that Mia, costume. Mia, do you want to know? I couldn't get the Spider Man one. Why not? Mad expensive and True. not in my size. Mm, damn. Yeah, they're medium phobic. I'm telling you, bro. They're medium phobic. They, they don't like. Yo, why is I was like, are you medium, looking for bro? a small right? or an extra small? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, everything's either a small or like triple XL. And I'm like, I'm not either. <laughs> Yo, the, the Wexel gang, the Wexel gang. <laughs> yeah, hey, I'm going to be good. a dead Jets cheerleader. Oh, no, that... I can't because I'm, the person who did my makeup, she won't be able to do my makeup this year, so I guess I can't do be a Well, that was a waste of three minutes. That was. No, a dead one is cool. I'm going to show you my picture. You're going to be like, oh, that is a cool costume. I mean, you could just be a regular one. I guess I could be a regular cheerleader. Yeah, Jets cheerleader. Rah, rah. Did you guys used to watch Bring It On? I did. No. I saw the first one. Oh, isn't it the best? It's so cute. What the hell is Bring It On? <laughs> Bring It On. It's a cheerleading movie back in the day. You just activated their girl powers <laughs> by 10, yes. 10%, bro. Awesome. Wow. Yo, me, me Toro, pick me out. I mean right on. on. Oh, my God. I haven't been Toro on the Toro Shore, number one. Time, we got to play what? a clip. How do you not know what Bring It On is? Whoa. This is crazy. With Kirsten Dunst? Yeah. Gabrielle Union? Look, yes, that was one on. of her first films, too. Look, I have a sister. She still looks so the same. I, 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 know what, I know what Bring It On is. I have a sister, too. I don't know what Bring It On is. Based. What? Based. As you should. Boo. As you you should. need to watch it. <laughs> As you should, bro. This? It's it's a, It's an okay movie. It's a good it's movie. It's cold in it's okay. here. It's, it's a, a cold class. There must be some clubbers in that atmosphere. What? Spirit fingers. What? Y'all are so boo. Jessica, you want to do that again? Spirit fingers. I can't believe y'all don't know what awesome. Bring It On is. This wow, is crazy. Total freak me out. I mean, right on. I've I've <laughs> never. Toro show on number one. I've never heard of their show. Of it's this not movie. a show. It's this a movie. movie. This movie. This movie. This movie. I've never heard of this movie. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm I'm convinced. She got me. I'm gonna be a cheerleader. Yes, I like that. I like that. Don't know how I'm, I'm gonna, gonna be a cheerleader. Strawberry but shortcake. I so that should be fun. Yeah. Yo, I've ne- <laughs> I've never seen this movie. I don't know what the hell y'all talking about. Watch it. When no. this movie come out? 2000? No, did not. You don't need to watch did it. Did not. You're fine. Had no clue. You're okay. I, I wasn't even a thought. Yeah. That's okay. terrible. Screw you. Wow. <laughs> okay, ageist. All right. I'm not an ageist. He's an ageist. How? He just said I wasn't even born. Trying to say I'm I mean, old. I mean, I mean that, but that's true. <laughs> that's I'm fact. four. You want me to watch Bring It On in 2006 <laughs> when I'm four? Yeah, why not? Based. Why not? Wait, you're all one? You can't even read. I'm two. <laughs> Can you? I can't even imagine them. Oh, you're O two two. I am. I'm O one. Oh, Come on, y'all. <laughs> I'm O one, y'all. Jessica, it's okay, bro. This is this is why we keep you youthful. We keep you young we, and youthful. We do. You know, what I want to put up my middle finger so bad. But <laughs> I can't. We keep bro, ring finger. We, we keeping you young. You know what I'm saying? There you go. Ring there you finger. Go. Come on, bro. It's all good. Listen. All right. It's okay. Are you gonna do that, that to the Giants that, when middle. they beat the Jets? That was your middle. Oh, it's your no, ring. No, my ring finger. Never mind. Huh? Are you gonna do that to the Giants when they beat the Jets? 
I'm gonna do worse of the Giants. Oh yeah. Yeah. Are, are you also gonna do that when I destroy you in fantasy? That's right. As well. As well. You're not gonna destroy me. My All team right. is gonna surprise okay, you. I'll, your I'll, team, you're you're gonna you're gonna finally have a bad game. You are uh, finally gonna meet your day. Beef, 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 beef. No, I'm gonna torture you. CMC is gonna torture you. That's how you treat a female. Barkley's gonna torture you. No. In this regard, absolutely. Yes, you're going down. It's not even gonna be close. It's not even gonna be close. You wanna know who got Devontae Adams will only have ten points in base. You want you want to who got torched? <laughs> Jacoby Myers he's is gonna not. have more points. No, he's not. <laughs> no, he's not. They're gonna bench Jacoby Myers. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna play him just so he drops. You 30. gotta play Jacoby Myers. You got to. I have to. DJ we, we, Moore. We have to test it. DJ Moore, or Jacoby Myers. Jacoby, Jacoby Myers for, for the culture. For the culture. You know for what? The culture. For the culture, Jacoby Myers is gonna be in my lineup. For the culture. I don't care what DJ Moore does. He's Jacoby Myers is in my lineup. <laughs> Okay, I hate Jessica, you. come on, let's 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 shake okay. on it right now. No, I, and whoever does better, whoever does better, you, you we gotta buy each other food. Whichever player does better, you got. Come on. You already owe me food, don't you? Yeah. Still, shake on it. Come on. Thank you. I'm putting Jacoby in my lineup. I'll do it right now. Go ahead and do it. Do- you you guys, she's she's gonna look. You think I'm playing? Oh. Go ahead. You thought I was lying. I already made some of my changes. Yeah, when Jacoby Myers drops 30. He's I'm not. Gonna... Yes, he is. <laughs> he's dropped... No, he's not. Who he's... they play? Who do they play? It's a very interesting who, question. Who cares about who the Raiders? Who follows the Raiders schedule? Uh, Nobody. This, this woman right over there. Yeah, <laughs> Her. true. You have to. <laughs> yeah, you kind of have to. Well, they got Adam, so I mean, I have to follow them. They play says... the Detroit Lions on Monday Night Football. <sighs> Yeah, Devontae getting <laughs> locked up, baby. He's not getting locked up. He's getting up. locked up, bro. Oh, shit. Jacoby Myers is the number two, the decoy. The decoy catcher. Come on, man. You good? He's going to be all right. Babe, go to my roster. Come in. Let's, come in. let's make the change. No, Daniel. What? Myers is projected like 24.3 yeah, okay. points. I'm just saying. Myers is projected to do very well, so... You know, it's gonna be fun. Seeing this, him. For, this is for the experiment, right? This is for the experiment. Right, because like this is what we've been debating about for like weeks. <laughs> Jacoby Myers. Because you've been go. trying to, to trade Jacoby Myers. He's been trying to trade him for the longest, and now he wants his, Now he loves him. And it's all just to torture me. Yes. Yo. I, I, mean, I, I mean, at this point, fantasy's making you bad, dude. Yeah. Fantasy's turning you into, into yeah, a... Yeah, I don't like him like this. You're turning bipolar with <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this, Lewis. Oh, I hate him. No, I like him. No, I'm trading him. No, I'm not trading him now. This guy, and he's always it's trying a, to He's always a, trying to undervalue trades. It's on a week you only want to trade your bench. You never trade anyone of, like, real significance. Calvin Ridley. Oh, please. <laughs> you trade for Calvin Ridley. Hi, guys. Come on. I don't get you, Hey, dude. listen. Every single week, I'm trying to get better. That's all I know. That's dude, all I know. Dude, when I That's lo- all I know. Dude, when I look at your roster, it's like drafted, traded, traded, <laughs> traded, traded, <laughs> drafted, traded, free agency, free agency. <laughs> That's your, your team. Your team has no based, more draft capital, based, bro. Based. Come on, man. All right. All right. So, you know, I'm winning. Anyway, you all gotta learn how to draft better. I I'm sorry. I didn't draft well. <laughs> well. My guys have just been getting screwed on the field by their teams and coaches. I drafted Here perfectly fine. Here comes the Devontae Adams cope. Here comes the cope. Come on, come on, bring it in. Oh, all I'm saying, no, I did enough coping. I'm okay. just saying. All I'm saying is that when we go into next year's uh, league, we do season two of this, right? I'm killing everybody. Okay. All yeah. I'm saying is that. We draft a little bit better so that we're not trading everybody come week seven. Lewis is the only one doing this. Who else in the league is trading as much? Is that a problem? A little bit. Yes, because you're becoming a nuisance. It's fun. This is fun. Stop it. There's a lot of peer pressure going on with you. I hate it. You want to know what else is fun? What? When we go to this break right now. (laughs) And when we be be more fun? When we come back from the break and we talk more football... Some other football. And, and football. basketball. And maybe basketball. If we have time. Yeah. Stay tuned. Lewis is... Lewis is having too much fun right now. Yeah. This is great. Is. This is great. See, this is why you can't win a fantasy, because you just come in here like a, like a wrecking ball. It's awesome, man. You know. He's a nuisance. No, nah, but that, He's that, the problem that was with like, society. It, even if I lost, that, that would have been the best way to lose. Damn. Because that's my boy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's my boy. It's my boy. That was very my... passionate, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> and none of them heard that. Like, no. <laughs> none of them heard that. That's my boy right there. <laughs> What'd you say? I forgot what I said. Listen, listen if she I, if said, I, Lewis listen. is what's wrong with society. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. You know what? He Ka- is. You know what? 
Kind of based. Kind of based. Kind of based right there, really, to be honest. All right. Back from break. <laughs> We're happy. It's a great time. It's a great time. It's a great time. Uh, yes, I got, I got beef with uh, some of the NFL referees. So Ooh. Yeah, so this weekend was... The uh, worst. Twitter was going off. The worst. It, it was the worst. And like it, it's constantly bad, but last Sunday was the worst. And I think when it comes to the NFL, you have to be better. Because now it's not only that you're drawing more media attention, but now, for me at least, it's now with the sports betting. That's what I was about to say. Right? Um, and, like, I'm going to give credit to Pat McAfee because he said it first, but I was going to say it anyway if he didn't say it first. So, Pat. Shout out to McAfee Mafia. Who? No. McAfee Mafia. <laughs> okay. okay. Anyway. Okay. The NFL has to start. Like, it, it can't just be pull the guy off the street and he's a referee. Because the fact that there's now so much money on the lines in in meaningless games, like Browns, Colts, there's billions of dollars on that game now. Whereas three years ago, four years ago, that's not the case. But now, you know, it's easy to walk to just grab a sports book and throw ten dollars on a game. All you need is social security, an app, and your finger. Based. Right, you're not you're not walking into into a sports bookie with the yeah, uh, hand shaking. <laughs> I want to make a, f- a four leg parlay. I want uh, Bills money line. <laughs> I want Jets money line. The smell of alcohol and cigs. I wa- as well. Are you listening? I, I want. <laughs> I promise this is gonna hit. This I'm is gonna, gonna hit. hit. I want Astros to win. You no longer have to appear. Like, like, and like Diamondbacks like like diamond diamond by three and diamond runs. And Diamondbacks by three runs. You got that? I'm putting five dollars. For for fifteen dollars, okay. Got that. So then, what do you? So what's it gonna take? Is it gonna take the sports uh, betting industry to step in and be like NFL? You guys are kind of like screwing us here. Uh, yeah, I think I think there needs to. Be, do they need to be retrained? Do the rules need to change? Because the I referees th- would tell you they're just doing their job. So right. what is so egregious about? I that? think because what you see happen in the NBA is a two minute report. Right, you see in the NHL, they have like the final five minute report of why of referees explaining why they made certain calls, and I feel like with the NFL, the referees don't do that. So you think there's no accountability? There's no accountability, and there's there's no like, what's your thought process with calling that illegal contact call in the Colts Browns game? But what do the you think their agenda pushed... is to make bad calls? Do you right. think they're doing it accidentally, or do you think chairs? that there's no, I'm good. something good. going on? No, I, I just feel – it's not that there's something going on. I feel like there's – because I don't think the referees are better. I think, I think the NFL is smart enough not to let that happen. But I think what you see is you see terrible calls being made. And I think the f- there's no – like, there's no one checking on these referees, right? There's no video assistants being like, yo, you missed that call, or no, that wasn't that call. Like – if somebody radios down in the Browns Colts game and calls that pass interference, right, and be like that wasn't pass interference, the ball's in the stand. How are you calling that? <laughs> we got to reverse that. But nobody's doing that because nobody because there's someone no rating. And like I get it, people say they're radioing down. They're not. They're not radioing down. They're not checking on these referees. Because if they were, that call doesn't get made. So then what? Ha- so then who does what? You, Do the owners step in and say, no. "Okay, you guys are ruining it for like our fans are upset, our teams are costing us points, you're costing us I possible think, playoff spots here." Like what? What's going to change? I don't think the owners care about it. I think this is very much a fan gripe. I think fans are more upset about this than anybody else. But it's because they're putting money on these games too. Right, they're making the investment to go put in the play in these. So games. then, isn't that maybe a fan's responsibility? If you're going to put money on the line for a game that you don't know how it's going to go, isn't that your responsibility, not the ref's responsibility, to think about? Well, if the ref oh, I shouldn't the- make this. I think don't make a call because it's bad. Don't like. I'm don't s- make a call because you think it's your fan is going to be upset about the betting. No, I think. You know, I, isn't that I, no, just no, the no. fans' business? You I decided from, to bet. From, from, hey. a, from a fan's point of view, I'm looking at these refs with no accountability. Right, they're not the ones who are being affected by the outcome of the game. Do you care half as much if you weren't betting? I think you still care because now your team's getting screwed. I think it's both sides. Yep. Okay, so if the team is getting screwed, why would you think the owners not care? Because the owners don't w- care. You think the owners? The owners don't care. Period. Based. 
Because when I'm thinking, who else has the type of power to step in and say something has to happen? It would with be player. It would be players, coaches, and fans. That that's who it is. Players, coaches, and fans. Owners not gonna say anything. But we've been having gripes even before the betting. People have always complained about bad calls. So what is why now? Like what? Because why? it's such a big industry now. Sports betting has never been easier. Literally. And bigger. And bigger. You could you could you could go bet on uh, Argentina versus Guatemala soccer game <laughs> at two o'clock in the morning with the touch of your finger. We don't have to go to a sports book. Yeah, I mean, so when the referee wakes up in the morning and he's putting on his stripes, is he thinking in his head, okay, I got to watch what I call because a bunch of fans put money on this game? And I, I, it's, like, not, what it, do, like, it, it's not that. It's the fact that they make the call and then there seems to be no effort to go into being like, that's a bad call. We have to overturn that. It's just we're generally going to accept the Well, isn't that what a challenge is for? But you can't challenge everything. No, you can't. And there's no video. Like, in soccer... I know, I know you're getting soccer. I'm going to do a soccer term for you right now. There's something called VAR, okay? Video assistant referee. The, versus the VAR is used in games when the referee has made a mistake. He's made a call in the field, and VAR can call into his ear and be like, yo, dude, that was a bad call. Go look at it. And most of the time, he'll look at it and say, yeah, I messed up, or I missed that call, or, that, or I need to change my decision. There's accountability there because he's telling him I made a bad call. He's tell the video referee is telling him you have to look at this again because this wasn't the right decision and you have to change it. There's none of that in the NFL except for challenge and replays. Do but you think that'll do good for the NFL if they implemented that system? Yes, because now you're holding your refs accountable, mm -hmm. right? I mean, I mean, like you're you're holding them accountable, and now you as a fan is understanding that okay, this is the call you made. Either you're right or you're wrong. And now I can see whether you're right or you're wrong. You're giving me an explanation. I'm seeing you making an effort to give... You're giving 100% of your effort to show me that this was the right call. Either I disagree with it or I don't. But either way, I'm coming out saying, like, I saw you make an effort to either overturn it or keep it as it is. Yeah, and I'll be okay with that. It's not that, oh, it's a, it, there's a call. I'm done. I'm walking away from it. Yeah, like, you, you remember the Rams-Saints game playoffs? <laughs> that was one of the dirtiest no calls I've ever ever seen they still ref it so do you think the change happens this season you think maybe no. goodell calls the refs and like hey no let's I, I, be I, more polished I, in I, our I calling. think this is more it was a bad week and i just started thinking about this now like this is going to affect a lot of but people but i feel like we've been i've been hearing this now all season with the bad calls it's I getting feel like, louder and louder yeah because it, it's been growing but this week so it are was the refs like, getting worse or we're just noted like but also there's there's replay now so there's no, there's really no reason to have a miss call anymore. Exactly. There's really no reason. Like, but if you're we've like, had replay forever. There should be a guy always at every point looking at every single play, every single thing, whether it's like pass. MLB has holding. a replay room where the referee, the umpire, is literally staring at twenty monitors. Like and like, whenever there's a call in the field, they look at it. Yeah. Well, NFL, get it together. Get it together. They Find be, a new way. Yeah, they're not quick. They're not quick. They're not quick enough. Like, because then these guys see a questionable call. Oh, let's run to the line and then spike it for no reason. Let's, oh, just so they don't get the, the challenge off or they don't get to see the replay. No. Or, but it's not even that. It's like they literally walk away and they don't even, they can't even challenge it. Yeah. Like, the the, the big 70-inch monitor shows you made a bad call and we have to live with that. Yep. Like, we, we don't even get a chance to even consider that that was a bad call. It's just, oh, he made a bad call. And then they, they don't explain it afterwards. There's no two-minute report. There's no referee at the podium saying, yeah, I missed that call, or I need to be better than that. In the NBA, they do that. NHL, they do that. Why can't they do it in the NFL? NFL is its own beast. It is its own beast. beast. True. But, but when your own beast is pumping billions of dollars into it, and people are losing billions of dollars, you got to hold people accountable. People got to be held accountable. They have to, because it's yeah. it's getting it's getting to a point now, where if this keeps going for years upon years, of more people getting to sports betting, right, and more and more money gets poured in the NFL, and there's still bad calls and people are still losing parlays because of it, and people are still throwing money at these games, hoping that a bad call <laughs> doesn't happen, when actuality it probably will. You're gonna lose viewers like that, and you're gonna lose fans yeah, like that. But that's why I think it won't get that far. I think maybe after this season they'll have to look at it because the NFL wants those eyes on the game. They mm -hmm. want the fans to spend the money betting. 
They want that type of tension. So you don't want an angry fan base. So I think, you know, I think it'll probably happen where they'll actually have some type of way to have Mm -hmm. better calls because forget the fans and the sports betting, but you're watering down your product like this. Like you're, this is not the best that you can put out on national television. So I think just as an overall like marketing product well-being, they'll have to do something because right. you can't run, a, especially with all the narrative that's around the NFL, the scripts, you know, everything is scripted. Like some people actually believe that. Mm-hmm. And that's that could possibly get louder you if the calls get worse. I'm one of them. What, you want to know where that came from? Stop. The script? Where? The soccer term. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it is. Mia, you had a question? Yeah, I was going to say, don't people, like, pay off reps and, like, they tip the game in one favor or another? Isn't that also, like, a thing? Allegedly. It's, it's not. Allegedly. It better not be a thing because then you would ru- lose all credit. That's the worst case scenario for any type of sport to have people that are in the game betting on the game and making. Because yeah. that's a surefire way to definitely lose viewership. Especially. There, there's no guys in back who's that pulling, pulling an hour up out of their pocket. Especially you know, Calvin like, Ridley. No, he's always <laughs> betting the under the way he performs. <laughs> Yeah. Always betting the under. <laughs> Always betting the under. <laughs> but yeah, it, it, the script comes from as a, a, an English football term that uh, the English fans used to uh, say was, oh, their league is scripted because the same team wins every year. Uh. So, that's, so it actually came from England, like a lot of things. I told Jess that uh, football is basically rugby. That we took football from rugby. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Like a lot, like a lot of the American well, sports are actually just what we stole from the English. Yeah. I mean, football. We did it better though. We're football. just more sophisticated about it. Like we put yeah. on a helmet, we, we put on knee pads. Steal it. We we have like a, a, a guy with a zebra outfit, right? <laughs> We got cheerleaders. We got a mascot. We got a nice logo. It looks so cute, right? But we turned it into uh, you a know, global phenomenon. It's a it's a show. It's an event. Yes. Mm-hmm. What do you think baseball is? Baseball's it's, cricket. Baseball. It's a drag. Baseball's cricket. It's cricket, but with a timer. And it's dra- and it's boring. Cricket's way more fun. You think cricket's more fun? Cricket's got. Have be. you sat down for a cricket game? Cricket's got. That's be. six hours. Oh yeah. What? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You can barely six. do that for UFC, and you love UFC. Based. You, know <laughs> you want to complain about baseball? You know what? I love baseball. Baseball is one of the greatest sports of all time. Where do we got hockey baseball from? Baseball is good. It's a great sport. Hockey came from Canada. I didn't. I just found that out. When you said, I thought that. Wait, 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 wait. Where else would it come from? Wait, wait. I was under the impression. What do you mean? No, I thought it was. I thought it was ours, and then they kind of like took it. I don't know. No. I don't know the history of hockey. Even I knew that, and I don't know the history of hockey. Started in Montreal. I just, Come I just on. knew that can Canadians love hockey, and I just thought, oh, they like one of our sports. It's cold <laughs> up there. That's all they got that's to all do. They play. It's literally ice and snow. All they do is so they got. Well, that's a there. good thing that they produced hockey as well, Canada. Thank you. It's a very fast-paced game. <laughs> Thank you, Canada. <laughs> Thank you, Canada. Like she's look, the president. Look, yeah. Canada. Look, I was at, I was with you guys in the summer. Shout it was out awesome Canada. up there. None the winner, you guys though. got a lot of tax. It's very expensive up there. But uh, it was <laughs> it great. Is. Great smoke shops. It was <laughs> awesome. Yo, Canadian smoke shops? Hell yeah. Go, going down to the, the smoke smokes? shop? You going know. down the, the guy smokes was like, with a hot ting? You know? Drop the butt. The guy was like, well, yeah, I mean, you can get this pre-roll. It's like two for 20. I'm going to get a like two for 20 really pre's with the boys. The pre before the game. Pre before you know. the game with the we'll boys. Hit the ICs, you know. They, bro, no, and when I was getting, no one sounded like that, by the way. We're going to yeah. hit the post. That's right. because you weren't you weren't near a Toronto man. Yeah, yeah. you weren't near Toronto. You, you weren't like in the ba- the backwards of uh, Winnipeg and Edmonton. Yeah. Well, I was in Niagara Falls. That's American. That's American. That's, American. <laughs> that's, us, that's bro. Niagara Falls, what do you basically. Mean? That's, that's us, the Canadian side. That's basically side. Upstate, uh, upstate Maine. That's bro. us, bro. That's not upstate that's, Maine. That's stuff. Buffalo. That that's basically Buffalo. That's Buffalo. No, but then we went further into Canada for like a winery thing. It was so good. Where in Canada? I don't know. It was like an. It was like almost a half, like a forty-five minutes away from where we originally were. So it was like we went into the Canadian like countryside. It was well, beautiful. Canadian countryside. Canadian yeah, they, they don't talk like that in the country. Nah. No. Well, we do. The Canadian countryside. No. We'll go with the boys. They, they're going out with the boys. boys. To the, with to the the winery, going, going you know. The it's winery? a vino, you know. No, step know. on some oh, grapes, stop, chill with stop. the babes, you, you know. know. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I, th- I think we should discuss the Knicks. They're playing tomorrow. Yes, the Knicks are playing tomorrow. And who are they playing? Thank God. Thank God basketball Basketball's is back. Basketball's back, guys. Thank yeah, I'm God. happy basketball's NBA back, back, actually. Uh, they play the Boston Celtics uh, in MSG. Tickets are absurd, but we're not going, so it's okay. Based. Tickets are two hundred and eighty dollars. <laughs> For a regular seat? 
that's that's the lowest. Oh my god. I mean, it also is game one. Okay, so why are you charging that much for game one? Because it's game one. Because it's, okay. it's the first and game. And with it, the it, way the Knicks are, it's probably one of. Who yeah. knows when you're gonna get the next good it, game? It's Knicks, <laughs> MSG, opening night, Celtics. Yeah, uh, you can't get anything better than that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. But yeah, it, it, it's it's basketball season starts tonight. Knicks go off tomorrow. Gonna be another headache for me, but it's okay. <laughs> Daniel, it's okay. No, it may be your you year. You guys have so it much potential going for you, Daniel. I, I know. I, I believe, yeah, I'm hearing good things about the Knicks. I believe on paper, against the other teams in the division, on paper, the Knicks are the fourth best team in the East. Based. Okay? I, I feel like the East is so limited. There's like, I mean, who's good? The Bucks, the Celtics. Maybe Philly. Maybe Philly, if James Harden doesn't wear a fat suit. <laughs> Maybe. And stops crying. If he stops crying. You just and, but then who's after that? The Knicks are there. The Heat have no depth. Based. Indiana. Charlotte with LaMelo, who's going to get hurt again. Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Uh, yeah. I mean, the, the Knicks have a legitimate shot here of making a four seed. And I think. What's, what do you think their high, high upside is like second? Second seed. The best case scenario is that they finish third. Really? I because f- I, I feel like Boston and the Bucks are genuinely better than them. Okay. Because Dame and, and Giannis and uh, I'm t- looking Dame forward to the Bucks. Yo, you know what you need? You need a Bucks Celtics like semifinals. Yeah. And then you need to play somebody else to where you're like, yo, we got a we got a shot. We would need to play. We would need to no. But what, what? So the Celtics would need to finish fourth. The or Bucks the, or Celtics need to finish either fourth or first. one or four. Yeah. And then we have to be two or three. I think you could be. I think you could be two or three. So Celtics going fourth. It's the nice. Bucks going fourth. Yeah, true. That's the thing, right? And it's like, I, I, I mean, I love the Knicks, right? I have never <laughs> had a team with more question marks going into this year than I have with the Knicks, and that's saying something. I generally don't know how good we're going to be. Jalen Brunson's great. Julius Randle is consistent. That's better. Though. R.J. Barrett doesn't know what he wants to do. But I think Mitchell Robinson's a rock. But I think that's better because it's better than expecting a total dumpster fire. It's better than expecting you to do nothing, to go nowhere, to be on repeat. But it could be a dumpster it fire. It could be, but, and that's the, but thing. the fact that there's questions, it could also mean that it could you guys could have another incredible like surprise. You guys would probably will struggle throughout the season, but you could make it to the playoffs. It could be a good run. You guys could play very well. Yo, glass half full Jess? What? Optimistic yeah. Jess right now? Holy, oh I my. Know. This is great. Daniel, you got it. I have to be positive for my friends, you, you know? know? We it's, lost in the second round to the Heat. Oh, my God. Oh, remember, that was last year, bro. This year. Let's remember, focus on this, this is, year. This is only game one. No spilled milk. It's only milk. game one. You got 81 after no, this we're, we're overreacting. Oh, yeah. We, we are overreacting. On hey, yo, Thursday, if, yo, we're overreacting. Yo, if they smoke the Boston Celtics, we're winning the chip. <laughs> winning the chip. It's over. Crown us. I, I, yo, I'm telling you, if Thursday, if they would. By the way, check out the live show. The live show tomorrow with Sean. Baby Oscar, Jessica on the camera yeah. with me, live reacting to the Based. Boston Nick game. We got to get food out. for it. I got to pay for food now. <laughs> well, we can all chip in. Come on, we're, we're, since we're going to be here late. Or Applebee's get a couple of mimosas. Oh, yeah, we'll get half off. Oh, no, you got to eat there. They don't let you take it. Oh, yeah, they don't take out. Not the, yeah. not the half off stuff. I ain't paying full price. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely true. not. I'll get Chipotle. But we'll get something I'll get good. some Chipotle. Chipotle. Get a pizza pie? Pizza pie. N- not from there. Let's get some... No. I want... Oh, no. you, want, you want real food? You want a real meal? Like, what do you no, want? but get pizza from somewhere else. Yeah, get pizza from somewhere else. I'm with Jess on that. There's tons... Oh, there's the forest else. pizza. Not too far from here. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm saying... I like how from... Jess has her lipstick like it's a pointer and a pen. Oh, <laughs> it's my lip gloss. My lip gloss be popping. My... You guys don't know that song? We do know that song. Oh, thank I, you. I do, but do I, I was it, it probably came out after. Just I, shut up. Uh, before I was born. Just shut up. Yeah. It did not come out just when you were born. You were already born. When did it come out? When did it come out? It A while back. Like 2006? When? No. Well, oh, maybe. No, you're right. Probably. It's like 2006? 2006? Yeah. I was probably. four. I was watching cartoons. Yeah. And I know the I song five. how. Because they know the song. They're just being idiots. They're just making me feel bad. Of course, who doesn't know that song? Who doesn't know that song? That was the wrong song. Exactly. Wait, 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 wait. wait. It wasn't? (laughs) That was the very wrong song. What was the song song. you were singing? Very different. What was the song you were singing? Lip Gloss by Lil Mama. It's the pot. See? (laughs) You see? It's the years and years of hanging out with Mary Jane. Sometimes you're... Whoa, Jess. Just please. 
what? You're sounding like a Charlotte Hornets player right now. <laughs> Shut Char- up. No, Charlotte Hornets. Yo, Char- oh, I feel so bad for Charlotte. Yo, NBA has a lot of teams that are a mess right MJ now. MJ said, I'm getting out of here. MJ said, nope, I'm done. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's it, just a lot of teams that are a mess right now. It's, it's, it's it, it, There's no, like, the West is good, but not that good. Yeah. The East is good, but not that good. There's going to be a lot of... So it seems like it may be an interesting year. It's going to be an interesting year for the NBA because there's a lot of really good rookies, but a lot of teams that are garbage. And, like, there's going to be a couple mid. Yeah. Some mids. There's there's going to be a lot of, like, 6 and 7 teams that are not going to be deserving of a 6 and 7 seed. Nope. And, like, there's going to... Like, the the in-season tournament is going to be the way for all these young teams to get some playoff experience. It's gonna be mid. It's gonna be mid. It's gonna it, like. It's gonna. It may take overall, some time. Overall, NBA season for that to is going to off. be fun because it always is. But team to team, it's not looking good. This is like uh, the in-season tournament's kind of like the summer league trophy at this point. Like it was, it was kind of hype. It's meaningless. It was, it's, it's hype. So why did the NBA do it? New. Because the NBA is stupid. Well, the NBA is trying to keep up with. With what? The NFL. With, what's, what, what's, 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 and the NBA doesn't get better until Christmas, or that's when people start actually watching. So they need to find a way to, you know, spice up. The, it's just about evolving. But it, it's also, it's the beginning of the year, right? It's like beginning of the I'm baseball sure season. I'm sure they thought about putting it somewhere else in the calendar, but where else could they do it where it wouldn't be so disruptive? In, in the beginning of the year, in a baseball season, of a hockey season, a basketball season, nobody's watching. Nope. Nobody. Nope. It's always at a certain point, everyone's like, okay, now, now, because now the teams start to realign, the games start getting faster. The, p- the players start getting into their groove again. Those first three weeks are choppy. Yeah, that's when you have, like, because there's too many. Only, football literally is 17 weeks it's, it's for seven, regular season. It's 18 weeks. For, yeah, that's but it. But they practice two months before the season starts. And then they practice a day after the game. LeBron ain't doing that. CMC is a better athlete than LeBron. Based. 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 NFL yeah. athletes are are better than NBA athletes. Based. True. A three hundred fifty. Where do soccer lineman. athletes yep. rank? Better. Are they the best? Who are they better than? Um, if you, you think consider they're running, or, if, if you consider running for an hour and a half athletic, they're pretty athletic. They're very. Athletic. I'm talking about where their cardio is crazy. Where do I rank them? Like, are they more athletic than basketball players? No. I would say, physically, no. But stamina wise, they're better than everybody. Yes. I feel like they could probably have. A race and win, and I, I feel like when it comes to how fast they are, they're probably faster than NFL players. They oh, could probably run faster. a forty-yard dash faster than an NFL player. That I believe wholeheartedly. Right, forty-yard dash faster than an NFL player. Oh yeah. Yeah, but they're all like five four. Okay. And they're like one hundred and fifty pounds. You're not carrying a lot of weight. You know what I'm saying? You're not moving too much weight to move. They, I but, have but, noticed uh, that about some soccer players. They're kind of on the leaning but a side. Six, a but six, they're running five miles a day. Of course got, they're going to be You got leaning. a six five, three hundred thirty 330-pounder running a four seven. It's pretty athletic, no? Right? Got to be, just based off of just relative size. But does it look as good? No. Yeah, because he got a little chub chub, but it's okay. A little chub chub's okay. Nobody, not everybody can be um, Olivier. But sh- oh, Olivier, <laughs> oh, I watched God. him why, on why? Sunday. So let me tell you about my Sunday. So I was at work. Got to yep. love my job because I had my laptop and my phone. <laughs> One screen had Red Zone. The That's other screen like a, had the AC Milan. My you friend had UFC your job on, finding bro. out about this? They were all watching it with me. Okay. I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> Yo, soccer the global game, bro. We're not were, working. My we're coworker was like, wait, that's the wrong football for you. I yeah. said, no, no, no. It's the right football. Then you had me watching Olivier UFC. is on here. <laughs> but shout out, but shout out to the four American players that were in that game. Mm-hmm. Do you, Do you know their names? Yes. Can you say their names? Tim Weah. Mm-hmm. Weston McKinney. Mm-hmm. Yunif, uh, Yunsef Munsa. Mm-hmm. And uh, the LeBron James of soccer, Christian Pulisic. Base. So I want to say it's awesome that they're playing because when I was watching the pre-show to the mm-hmm. soccer game and they mentioned that four American players were playing – 
that literally gave me a genuine interest in the sport and not just, oh, I'm watching it for my crush, but like stuff like that brings in more fans because now it's good to know that Americans have gotten to the level in soccer where we are accepted or wanted over that, that we can play head to head with their athletes. And I do believe because parents are investing way more into soccer here some of finally some of our best male athletes will finally go into soccer instead of just football basketball baseball so it's great hope great future and mm -hmm. now i definitely want to watch soccer because now that i know that american players that there's multiple american players in the same game awesome sauce and they're hot maybe one, one of them you want to know where you can watch maybe one, one of them <laughs> <laughs> but i have yet to find one who can top jeru Jeru? Keep watching. Olivia Keep Jeru? watching. Keep watching. Yo, yo, Dude, there's so many. There's I'm sure. Our friend got put me on to Jude Bellingham from mm -hmm. somebody so from cute. Spain. So cute. Got Real, a top. Real Madrid. Real Madrid. Go Real Madrid. Well, he's not as cute as Olivia, but he is cute. Based. So He's a little cutie, cutie patoots. Look, uh, if, if you want to watch more American soccer, it's called the MLS. <laughs> yeah, true. Okay, that's true. I could watch the MLS, but let's be serious. I mean, it, I don't think it's the same. <laughs> no, it's not the same caliber as European, as as global soccer. It's not. There's a reason why we can't get through. Yeah, but it, the it, world. I mean, like we're not. It's, it's not it, the same. It's its own. And when they and when their players come here, everyone sees it as a demotion for them. Yo, Jess came for looks. She's staying for the comp, bro. Yeah, she's, she's like, yo, comp. what's the yo, like, what league are you in? You're not even in La Liga. Like, what are you talking about? Like, <laughs> yeah, you're not, in, you're not in City A, ah, bro. Like, you your your team is trash. Oh, like, you played, you played South America. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is, when their players come to MLS, it's sort of seen like as a demotion for them or mm -hmm. as a step backward. Right. So I will watch MLS, but you know. More soccer talk. Team Olivier. Great. All right. Bye, guys. Team this conversation next week. Stay tuned for Thursday. UFC talk. It's going to be great. <laughs> See you all. Bye. <laughs>